Hello, and welcome to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast with your host, me, Hal Coleman, uncensored and unplugged. Pay attention, take lots of notes, because you're going to find out exactly how to get more new customers, more referrals, and grow your business. Hal Coleman has been active in the pest control industry for over 40 years, including owning and operating his own successful pest control business for 18 years. He now devotes his time to helping other PCOs and other WCOs double, triple, and even quadruple their businesses faster than they ever imagined. Be sure to check out his website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. For more information about Hal's coaching program, you can reach him at 770-993-0004 or email him hal at halcoleman.com. Mike Stewart is known as the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Since the birth of the Internet, Mike has been showing small business owners how to get more new customers, increase their sales, and grow their businesses online using audio and video, now with iPhones and Android phones. For more information about Mike's coaching program and his online training courses, visit MikeStewartCoaching.com or email him Mike at InternetAudioGuide.com. Well, hello, folks. This is Hal Coleman, and welcome to yet another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. I'm here with my good friend and my business associate, my buddy, Mike Stewart, Mr. Online. How you doing, Mike? It's a great day in the neighborhood, as Mr. Robert Rogers used to say. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in, in the, the neighborhood. neighborhood. <laughs> Would you be mine? Won't you be my, my neighbor? neighbor. <laughs> How about that? But you're That's... but you're two hundred and fifty miles from me. <laughs> but you know, when somebody says to you if I were to say to you, Mike, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood today, what name would come to your mind? Well, Fred Rogers. Fred but... Rogers, yeah. He was the name and in... if I were to say to you, uh uh Tell me about your pillow. Do you have a good pillow that you sleep on at night? Oh, a well, comfortable pillow? Well, Mike Lindell, uh, we bought them. We we ordered MyPillow.com. You better believe it. My pillow, Mike Lindell, yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, when I talk about uh, uh, going and getting some good fried chicken down there at the, at the chicken place, who, what person do you think of? Well, you know what? My dad met. Colonel Harlan Sanders back in uh, when he was traveling around Tennessee and Kentucky trying to get people to, to bring on his uh, 13, what is it, 11 herbs and spices of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, Colonel Harlan Sanders. And and, and uh, uh, remember Men's Warehouse? Oh, George Zimmerman. You're going to like the way you look. You're going to like the way you look, I guarantee it. But my point is, uh, and even even a lot of younger people might not remember this guy, but if I start if I said the Chrysler Corporation, what what comes to your mind? Well, the Chrysler Corporation was going under, and a man named Leo Iacocca, who not many people know, uh, created the Mustang for the Ford Motor Company. But he came to Chrysler and saved Chrysler because he became the name and face of that you know in trouble major corporation. The he really did. He he's probably the first guy, the first head of a major corporation that went on TV, and he and if you remember the commercial, he was behind the desk and he came walking around. He stood there. He said, "Hello, I'm Lee Iacocca, president of Chrysler." He was a tall, like six foot three, handsome guy, and and talked to you on TV just like you're sitting there with him at the kitchen table having a cup of coffee and telling you about Chrysler's and all the good things they could do. And you remember his tagline at the end, which I love? He said, bottom line, he said, if you can find a better car, buy it. Oh. I mean, what a great, bold line. So people felt like they were doing business with Lee Iacocca. Right. Lee, it, it no longer was a, a face, nameless, faceless uh, entity, a corporate. It was Lee Iacocca. When, now, I, I got to tell you, Mike. These new Colonel Sanders guys don't do it for me. No. Uh, it's but, almost, but, uh, it almost insults me, if you want to know the It truth. does me, too, especially because the original it's, Harlan Sanders, who was the epitome of a, you know, a Southern gentleman, and he was kind, and he spoke well, and he talked about his chicken finger looking good. 
he made you want to walk out the turn the TV off right then and get in the car and go buy a bucket of chicken. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we and did. Mike, Mike Lindell, doesn't he make you want to just get the pillow and and lay down on it and just. Uh, I, every time I open my medicine cabinet, I think he's going to sit there and say, I knew you would, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, you know, the, 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 it's a tried and true uh, principle that people do business with people they know, like, and trust. And and remaining anonymous and, and hiding from your customer just doesn't make sense. When, when there's success story, Dave Thomas of Wendy's and uh, uh, Victor Kayam with the, you know, I love the company so much I bought it. I mean, yeah. the, the, the laundry list of, uh, of people who said, I stand behind my product and I'm the buck stops with me. And if you're not happy with me, then, you know, uh, let me know about it and I'll fix it. I mean, there's just so much to, becoming the name and face of your business that creates a what's called a risk reversal and a trust you know when you guarantee to me that you're going to make it right that that's risk reversal yeah you know, and you know when i when i first started my pest con- got well i say started it i didn't actually start it uh, i had a friend who had a one-man business he had had for 20 years and he was ready to retire he was an older gentleman and he had about, uh, all he did was termite work, and that was all. And he had about uh, 600 renewal customers. And I just bought that little route. And that's how I got into business, was, was with that little route. But uh, so I asked a guy, back then there was no internet. There was, you know, the, the big internet back then was the, was the yellow page book, that big, thick yellow page book. And there was only one. And I asked a guy, a mentor of mine at the time who was much, much older and he had a big successful business. I said about the yellow pages. I said, I can't, I, I, I checked it out. I said, I can't afford to be in the yellow pages. He said, how you can't afford not to be in the yellow pages. He said, if you want to be a successful pest control business and grow it and you're not in the yellow pages, he said, you, you, he said, that's like trying to swim with a ball and chain around your leg. He said, you got to get in there. And so I bit the bullet. I spent a chunk of money. I got in the Yellow Pages. Uh, and I kind of designed my own Yellow Page ad in a way. It certainly was not a direct response marketing ad like I had in the later years. But I put on there in the ad, and I don't really know why. It, it, something in my subconscious told me to do this, but I it said North Fulton Exterminating. It had my name, my phone number, and everything. And it said Hal Coleman, Entomologist. And I thought, that's probably a good touch. I'm going to put my name on there. Nobody else in here has their name or anything, so I'm going to give them somebody to talk to. Well, when people would call and they say they found me in the Yellow Pages, and I would always ask, well, what was it about my Yellow Page ad that made you uh, choose mine instead of somebody else's? You know, with the overwhelming response, well, because you had your name on your ad, and I felt like that, that that I knew who to ask for. Way back then, I'm talking about in 1991, uh, because you had your name on there and I felt like I had somebody could ask for, uh, it's, it's so important that a small, for a small business, especially to have a name and a face, because if it's just the name of the company, if it's AAA exterminating, uh, and if the name of your company happens to be AAA exterminating, you're listening to this, I'm just making that up. Okay. It's not you I'm talking about or Acme exterminating, uh, they don't know the difference between you and one of the big guys, Orc and Terminex, anybody else. They don't know the difference. Uh, because. But if there's a name and a face, now they have somebody to talk to. We do business, like you said, with people. We do people business with people we know, love, and trust. And know comes first, uh, love comes second, and trust comes last. And so... Uh, they got to get to know you and the way to get to know somebody is to introduce yourself to them in your marketing. If have a video on your website, I see videos on pest control websites every day and it's all gobbledygook as far as, as somebody's subconscious is concerned that some, some, uh, voice narrating a video of people 
out doing a termite treatment, drilling holes or spraying and, and some voice, and you don't know who it is. You see a pictures of people on there. You have no idea who they are, and mostly they're stock photos that somebody got from the Internet. But when when a video comes on and it says, like, like with mine, Hello, I'm Hal Coleman, president of North Fulton Exterminating. Thanks for stopping by my website today. Hey, if you're watching me right, listening to me right now, it probably means you have a pest problem. So I, I talk to them just as if, just as if somebody knocked on my door and I came to the door and said, "Welcome, welcome to the party. Thanks for coming. And come on in here. You know, give me your coat." Uh, and even if you can't do that, if you just have a, go out and have a nice commercial. Get a nice looking headshot. Don't use the picture on your driver's license, okay? Promise me you'll never do that. But get a good headshot with you smiling and put that right on the front page of your website. And, and you know, if your name is Fred Johnson, then put underneath it Fred Johnson, president. So people now, they they land on the website and they look at it and they say, well, guy named Fred Johnson there, president, uh, and call me anytime so they call and they ask for fred johnson how'd you know about me well i saw it on your website it, it's so powerful i can't even tell you uh to for a company to have a name and a face that people can identify with and that they can connect with and now here's a word from our sponsor google pest control marketing grow your business like never before call 770-993-0004 did you hear that that is a jingle but more than that it is an audio logo and what i call a marketing earworm but you know that's a bug that's a worm you want in your local market on youtube facebook spotify and podcasts like you're listening to right now Yes, you should do a podcast as a PCO, but we'll talk about that another time. You want your market singing Google your name, what you do, and your phone number. Simple, but it works. If you want to cash in on this marketing bonanza, go to PestControlMarketingJingles.com to learn more. Or just call me, Mike Stewart, at 770-826-3662, or call Hal Coleman at 770-993-0004. And we'd love to show you how to do what we call search and call advertising with earworms. And oh yeah, it works on that old timey technology of radio and television. Why don't you call us today and learn more? Google Pest Control Marketing. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004. Uh, and so you and I'm sure you would agree with that. Oh, absolutely, Hal. I mean, it, it, it. We once again, we've said it a thousand times uh, at internet marketing conferences. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. And on and, and online, in audio and video, it's one thing to have a picture and a logo to get people to know you, but it's another thing for you to talk to people. So uh, one of my mentors is a guy named Alex Mandosian. And years ago, he said, when you when somebody comes to your website, it's like coming to your front door and they knock on the door. They, they knock and they go, uh, hey, I'm, I'm interested. Now, if, if somebody, if you had a store and they knocked on the door and you were trying to sell them something, you'd say, well, welcome. Now, come in. You You wouldn't, just to keep the door locked or 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 hire an announcer to just talk to them on the front porch no you would greet them and say welcome let me tell you what i i do and how i'm different uh i'd like you to show you around and if you have any questions i want you to ask me but more importantly i want you to get to know me i want you to like what i have offering here and i want you to trust that I'm going to solve your problems. I see so many websites. I see so much advertising about, you know, uh, stock photography. Uh, how, how many websites have you seen, How that the first thing they see is a big, scary, ugly bug? You know, not one person that works there, a picture of them or the team or action shots of you solving problems. You know, it's all about letting knowing people, you know, they got lots of choices on the Internet. They're one finger tap away from looking at your competitor. You better make them 
feel comfortable that they should get to know you. And, you know, I love your headline that you, you've used on a lot of websites. For the most thorough, amazing website you'll ever get. Uh, pest control service, pest, not website, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, that's my dyslexic brain. You know, for the most amazing pest control service that you imaginable, you know, uh, you're going to love what I do for you. I guarantee it. You know, and the owner's name. And, you know, I actually was talking to a client the other day. He says, I don't want to put president or owner on, on my. Why? Why would you not want to tell people that you're the, you're you're where the buck stops? That you're giving them the trust that you're willing to let people know who you are and take care of them. You know you don't you want to take their money, don't you? Well, you yeah. Better... Could you could you imagine somebody knocking at your door and you went to the door and and uh, and and somebody said, "Who are you?" And they said, "Well, none of your business who I am." Uh, <laughs> let me tell you about my product here. <laughs> yeah, none of your business. And by the way, I want your money. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what websites that have stock photos. I mean, I remember seeing a, a website one time where there was a happy family sitting on a front por- a lawn having a picnic. And I said, what's that got to do with killing bugs? And they said, well, you know, people see this happy family that they're able to have a, a, a family gathering out on their front lawn and it's bug free. I said, I just don't think people you could ask nine out of ten people, and they wouldn't figure that out. And they know that those people are stock photo people, too. See, yeah, your graphics, and now we're getting off on a different subject here, but... Uh, well, but graphic- it's a no like and trust It's a no yeah, like and trust yeah. technique. Yeah. Yeah, so, but anyway, yeah, so uh, be the name and face of your business. If you don't feel comfortable, then, heck, you, maybe you have an employee that can do it or a spouse that can do it. Uh, uh you know, I had a friend once who had a, and you know him, I'm not going to mention his name, but he had a, uh, an automobile repair shop down here in Atlanta. And, uh, and he was a marketing guy too. And it kind of like we were, but he had a, all kind of deals for people come in and get their lube job, get the car service, get their oil changed and everything. And he, he was running ads in, uh, some little local, rag newspaper newsstand paper back when those were really popular this has been over 20 years ago and uh you know come in for free lube come in and, and he was religiously tracked everything he did and he had a wife who's really pretty she had long ha- uh, blonde hair and everything so he said i did an experiment he said so i put my wife's picture on that ad and and he said i just i just put her picture uh and put her name and put owner and uh, he said, my response tripled. He said, my response to that ad tripled when I just put my wife's picture and her name under it. That's how powerful it is. Well, you know, it's it's uh, it's a choice. You know, you can either hide from your customers or guarantee your customers you'll take care of them. Yep. And, and that's that's why being the name and face of your business, uh, it worked for Dave Thomas of Wendy's Burgers. It, it worked for a, a lot of businesses. Yeah, I know there's probably not a name and face for some uh, businesses. Uh, but, you know, you don't know about the businesses that failed. And and I used to remember um, Dan Kennedy, who we just lost recently. Um, and God rest his soul, rest in peace. Yeah, um, um. Uh, but he said, you don't have the money to be a brand. He said, big companies that are well-known brands spent millions, if not billions of dollars associating their brand with their product. Uh, you know, you could go to an alien or a caveman and say Coca-Cola and he wouldn't have a clue what, that it's a, a sugar water drink. You know, we all know Coca-Cola is a soft drink that didn't exist 200 years ago, mm-hmm. but the world knows Coca-Cola is a soft drink, not because it's the best thing in the world for you health wise it that we know it because branding advertising associated those that verbiage so there's not a name and face with a brand like that but it took billions of dollars of advertising signage and it took and it took a hundred years a right. hundred years for somebody to show you that coca-cola logo you it's, folks if you're listening you don't have the time or the money to do what Coca-Cola did. Right. You Which, don't have the time to do what uh, some of the large 
uh, conglomerate pest control companies did that are a household word. You do not have the time and money to make yourself become a household word, but you do have, uh, it takes a very short period of time for you to get effective business growth. If you people have see your face and your name and they know they do a business with you. Right. So with that said, Mike, uh, I got to get out of here. All right. Well, wherever you got to go, go there safely. And more importantly, tell people your phone number while you're out and about how they could do business with you. I'll do it. They can call me at 770-993-0004 if they're interested in uh, talking to me about how I can help them and and guide them and help them grow their business. And uh, I'll I'll treat you, if you're listening to this, if you call me and say you heard me on this podcast, I'll treat you to a one hour what I call a double your business strategy session. I'll send you a little questionnaire to fill out so that I find out some stuff about your business. And I'm looking for that low hanging fruit that you may not be aware of. Uh, and I'm also looking for pitfalls that you may not be aware of. But when I get that questionnaire and go over it, I'll make notes and then you and I'll meet on the phone for an hour. I'll give you some dynamite stuff to think about. And, uh, I've never, ever, ever had anybody come away from that call saying it was a waste of their time. They just can't, they just profusely thank me at the end for all the information I gave them and all the help I gave them on that phone call. It won't cost you a penny, not a penny. So uh, give me a call if you're interested. Sound- Mike, how can they get in touch with you? Well, at any time, go to MikeStoreCoaching.com, go to WebsitesYouControl.com, or just call me on my mobile computer call the cell phone 770-826-3662 i'd love to hear from you i'd love to review what you're doing and i'd love to help you learn about my 13 steps to local business domination 770-826-3662 i think it's time to get out of here hal have a great day you have a great day too mike and folks i hope all of you have a great day thanks for listening to this episode of the pest control marketing podcast thanks for listening to the pest control marketing podcast Be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes and on your phones and in Stitcher on your Android. But more importantly, go to our website, PestControlMarketingPodcast.com. Subscribe to our email list to always be notified of new episodes. You're never going to want to miss what we've got coming up next, and you never know what we're going to be able to do to help you with your pest control marketing.